plant-based meat with some real clean ingredients Making healthy choices doesn't have to be so tedious No additives to fill us, no soy gluten or gums We add it to our dinners just to see what it becomes These dishes are delicious, boosting health and vitality They want to make a difference, real food, low calorie This food was made from plants, but not to feed the rabbits Eating beef and chicken tacos Today we're trying Abbott's Let's put that to the plant-based taste test Happy Cinco de Mayo, food friends. Feliz de Cinco de Mayo? No, no habla español. Hey! Feliz Cinco de Mayo, amigos! Today, we're celebrating by making taco! We'll be putting Abbott's ground beef and chopped chicken to the plant-based taste test. Abbott's firmly believes that they are the future of plant-rich protein. Both items we have here are top nine allergen-free. No gluten, no soy, no gums, no artificial or natural flavors, no canola oil, no methylcellulose. They say if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't eat it. Just clean ingredients that are responsibly sourced. For our tacos, we have prepared some homemade pico de gallo consisting of tomatoes, lime, cilantro, and onions. Some vegan refried beans, and lettuce, and pickled radish. Enough taco talk, let's eat already. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, brother. What are you gonna do when the taco man Randy Savage comes for you? Let's dig in. These look amazing. We're gonna go ahead and start with the chicken one. Do a little uh, cheers to the taco, a little taco cheers. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Oh man. Here we go. Okay. I'm not quite sure how I'm getting at this. Mm. All of those flavors together work really well, just like you would expect them to. The chicken. Wow, it's so moist and, and... It probably has the most convincing texture of chicken of any other chicken type product I've tried. Yeah, that is like a very juicy, tender piece of chicken. As soon as you bite into it, you get a crunch. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice pico, by the way. That's real tasty. Thank you. You get a little bit of a creaminess from the refried beans, and then you get that really nice bright note from the lime and the cilantro coming out from the pico de gallo. And that chicken is just so moist and tender. I, I've, I've never had a plant-based chicken that was able to do that. They're always usually a little bit on the dry side. We didn't season the chicken just because we wanted to taste it as is. And it has a very, almost like chicken pot pie savory taste to it. Like, I think it's a versatile fake chicken as well. It's great in this taco. You could probably put it into a like chicken fettuccine Alfredo, maybe a sweet and sour chicken, whatever your favorite chicken dish is. I think this would, this would do great. Yeah, anything, anything at all that required chicken already chopped up into pieces. Yeah. Anything. Definitely. We absolutely devoured those chicken tacos. Let's give that beef a try. I grew up in a very Caucasian household where taco night meant ground beef, shredded cheddar cheese, sour cream, that kind of stuff on your tacos. I know traditionally ground beef is not considered the first meat you would think of for a taco, but, uh, we're stretching it for Cinco de Mayo. Here it goes. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. 
texture and consistency. I think I would put it somewhere between like ground beef and ground sausage. Flavor wise, it tastes exactly like the chicken does. <laughs> I, I feel like besides the texture, like you mentioned, there's really no difference in how these two things taste. They have a very similar flavor profile in my opinion. I'm actually finding the beef crumble to have a little bit of flavor to it. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Bringing a bit of the umami flavor into the taco. Does anyone else make a horrendous mess when they eat tacos or just me? It's because we went with the uh, crunchy taco shell. Probably should have went with like street tacos. I still seem to get it all over my face and all over the plate, all over my hands. It's just one of those foods, you know? These are definitely some delicious tacos. I think that this meat would be fantastic used in all types of other recipes. If you wanted to make a sloppy joe, mm. this would be amazing. A lasagna. Spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti, absolutely. Mm. Anything that you could picture putting ground beef in, I think this would do justice to that. I think I would like to try each one on its own. Taste-wise, the beef crumble in my opinion, doesn't really mimic beef at all. It's kind of doing its own thing. Not mad at that. It's just not trying to mimic beef, or at least if they were trying to mimic it, I don't think they quite got it. I think the real winner about the chicken is that most imitation meats are too soft. Like the giveaway is that it's really soft yeah. in your mouth. It doesn't have the body to it that real meat does, but this has it. Like, it's there. It's also very impressive that they were able to get this consistency with this chicken without any gluten. Because I know that a lot of the times when you're making um, a plant-based chicken, you're using like vital wheat gluten. Really impressive what they've come up with with so few processed ingredients in these. Yeah, flavor-wise by themselves, I don't think that I would just eat a bowl of chopped chicken by itself or the, the beef by itself. But I mean, let your imagination fly. Make nachos. Nachos would be incredible with either the mm. chicken or the beef. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We hope you had a good time. If you did, maybe consider hitting that like button, subscribing for future content. And uh, until next time, We'll see you on a plant-based taste test. Today, we are celebrating by making tacos. White people style. <laughs> Abbott's firmly believes that they are the future of plant play pla 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 pla. <laughs> Abbott's firmly believes that they are the future of plant-rich proteins. Proteins. Thought you were stopping the recording. <laughs> it's all part of the taste test. New looking tinfoil? <laughs> <laughs> it is now. Let's give them something to talk about. Tacos. I'm gonna try one more thing. We're gonna mix the chicken and the beef together. Cause I'm a weirdo. Yeah, there's absolutely no point in doing that at all. Taco, taco man, I want to be a taco man. You are still watching. That is great. Uh, last week's video right over here. Feel free to check that one out. We appreciate it. And uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the next one, brother. This is the taco man, Randy Savage.